Good morning students. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we will do chapter 9 from your English literature book. The name of a chapter is The Story of Robinson Crusoe. This video is part 4 of this chapter. Now, let's begin our class. As you know that we have completed this chapter, the explanation is done. Few exercises are left which we will do today. So, all of you please open your English literature book and take out page number 79. There is a grammar portion given in your book. In this, you have to read these sentences. So, before starting this topic, first we should know what is adjective. Adjective you have also learned in your previous videos, in your previous class. So, adjective is a word which describes or gives more information about a noun or pronoun. That means, adjective aise words hote hain jo batate hain noun ke baare mein ya pronoun ke baare mein. That means, ye noun ke baare mein information dete hain and pronoun ke baare mein information batate hain. Example, beautiful flower, big house. So, यहाँ पे किसके बारे में बात हो रही है? Flower के बारे में बात हो रही है. Flower की information मिल रही है कि flower कैसा है? Beautiful है. So, here beautiful is an adjective. Now, the second example is big house. So, house कैसा है? House आपका noun है. Then, यहाँ पे big क्या है? Big आपका adjective है. Because यहाँ पे noun के बारे में बताया जा रहा है कि जो घर है वो बहुत बड़ा है. Ya ghar bohat chota hai. So that is called adjective. So big is an adjective. Now moving to degree of comparison. So in adjective there are three adjective degrees of comparison. They are so there are three kinds of comparison in adjective. So the first is positive degree. Second is comparative degree and the third is superlative degree. Now comes three degrees of comparison. You can see a picture on your screen. So, there are three degrees of comparison. They are positive, comparative and superlative. Positive. Positive, the word is big. So, big is an adjective word. So, ये positive degree है comparison का because यहाँ पे हम किसी से किसी को compare नहीं कर रहे हैं बस जो noun है उसके बारे में बता रहे हैं कि big apple है so big आपका positive degree हुआ now moving to comparative in comparative it will become bigger so now the apple is bigger bigger apple so now you are comparing the first apple to second apple जो first apple है उसको हम second apple से compare कर रहे हैं that means यहाँ दो apple से एक दूसरे को जो हम एक दूसरे से compare करते हैं so वो comparative degree होता है so that will become bigger now comes superlative superlative में हम दो और दो से अधिक चीजों से compare करते हैं या फिर हम बताते हैं जो हमारे पास जो items है जो commodity है उन सब चीजों में से सबसे ज़्यादा best कौन सा है so, we use biggest by adding est. So, it is superlative. Now, see what is given on page number 79. Read these sentences. So, there are few sentences you have to read. So, the first sentence is, The first time Crusoe had an unlucky voyage. The second time the Crusoe had an unluckier voyage than the first one and the third sentence is Crusoe had the luckiest unluckiest voyage the third time so now you can see the first sentence me hum positive degree use kar rahe hain comparison ka because yahan pe jo traveling ka jo experience hai wo Crusoe ke baare mein bataya ja raha hai ki jo uska pehla experience tha traveling ka wo bahut unlucky tha Second time, the sentence is Crusoe had an unlucky voyage than the first one. 
सो so, यहाँ पे हम जो फर्स्ट ट्रैवल था उसको हम सेकेंड ट्रैवल से कंपेयर कर रहे हैं सो वी आर यूजिंग कंपेरेटिव डिग्री सो इट विल बिकम अनलकी द थर्ड इज क्रूसो हैड द अनलकीस्ट वॉयज द थर्ड टाइम दैट मीन्स यहाँ पे हम सुपरलेटिव डिग्री यूज कर रहे हैं एग्जेक्टिव का बिकॉज जो फर्स्ट ट्रैवल था जो वॉयज था उसको भी हम कंसिडर कर रहे हैं सेकेंड को भी कंसिडर कर रहे हैं एंड थर्ड को भी ले रहे हैं दैट मीन्स जो थर्ड जो वॉयज था ट्रैवलिंग था वो सबसे ज़्यादा अनलकी था नाउ द थ्री सेंटेंसेस यूज डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ द सेम एग्जेक्टिव दीज फॉर्म्स हेल्प अस कंपेयर द नाउन्स प्रोनाउंस द एग्जेक्टिव आर डिस्क्राइबिंग दे आर थ्री एग्जेक्टिव डिग्रीज ऑफ कंपेरिजन द फर्स्ट पॉजिटिव कंपेरेटिव एंड सुपरलेटिव पॉजिटिव when there is only one noun pronoun and no comparison is being made that means sentence mein jab ek hi noun hai ya ek hi pronoun hai then hum positive degree of comparison use karte hain and yahan pe hum kisi ko kisi se compare nahi karte hain second is comparative comparative mein hum do ya do se adhik person ya things ko ek dusre se compare karte hain सुपरलेटिव वेन देर इज अ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन यहाँ पे जो हम कंपेरिजन करते हैं वो, वो दो या दो से अधिक पर्सन हो या थिंग्स हो वो एक दूसरे से कंपेयर करते हैं सो दैट इज सुपरलेटिव सुपरलेटिव में हम फाइंड करते हैं कि कौन सी सब जो चीज़ है वो सबसे बेस्ट है नाउ टर्न योर पेज टू पेज नंबर एट्टी जनरली कंपेरेटिव आर फॉर्म्ड using er and superlative are formed by using est that means jab hum superlative form karte hain then hum est add karte hain and jab hum ek comparative form banana hota hai that time we add er so the words of adjective are in positive degree tall old long big now tall ko jab hum comparative mein banayenge then it become taller by adding er then tallest by adding est the second is old older oldest long longer longest big bigger biggest the rule changes when the adjective has more than one syllable with most two or more syllable adjectives the comparative is formed with more less and the superlative with most and least that means jab adjective mein agar jo wow sound hota hai wo ek ya ek se adhik hote hain that time jab hum comparative form karte hain we add more hum more add karenge ya less add karenge and superlative ke case mein hum most add karenge ya least add karenge example in positive peaceful now peaceful you have to change to comparative then it will become more peaceful or less peaceful superlative in a form of superlative most peaceful or least peaceful pleasant more pleasant less pleasant most superlative least in superlative case most pleasant and least pleasant now the third is careful so you have to change to comparative then it will become more careful or less careful most careful and least careful in case of superlative degree now the last is thoughtful so the sentence in comparative form more thoughtful or less thoughtful in superlative form most thoughtful or least thoughtful now if the two or more syllable adjectives end with y and y is changed to i and er is added to the comparative form for the superlative form the y is 
change to I and EST is added. That means जो adjectives होते हैं जो end होते हैं Y से उनमें जब हम comparative बनाते हैं then we add I E R and in case of superlative we add I E S T. Now see the example in positive degree happy, happier, happiest, angry, angrier, angriest, busy, busier, busiest. For some adjectives the changes are irregular. So there are few adjectives jinke jo changes hote hain wo bahut irregular hote hain jaise ki in positive degree good. Good in case of comparative it will become better. Superlative best. Bad worst worst. Far further furthest. Little less least. Many much more most so now moving to the exercise which is given on page number 81 write the comparative and superlative forms of these adjectives so adjectives are given you have to form them in a form of comparative comparative mein aapko change karna hai and superlative form mein change karna hai comparative mein jab hum change karte hain then hum er add karte hain and superlative ke case mein hum est add karte hain and kuch aise adjectives hote hain jahan pe one syllable hota hai ya more than two syllables hote hain ya more than two hote hain so un cheezon mein un cases mein hum jab hame comparative banana hota hai then hum more add karte hain ya less add karte hain Superlative jab change karna hai, then hum most add karte hai ya least add karte hai. Now see the example. The first is young. So it will become younger, youngest. In young we have added er in case of comparative and est in case of superlative. Now the second is tall, taller, tallest, short, shorter, shortest. New, newer, newest, nasty, nastier, nastiest, expensive, more expensive, most expensive. Or you can say that less expensive or least expensive. This is also correct. Interesting, more interesting, most interesting. So in comparative we can also say like this less interesting and least interesting both are correct now the last eight is likely likelier likeliest so now we have completed the exercises which are given in your book now your homework for today is to do exercise b which is given on page number 81 so all of you please do your homework thank you class be safe and stay at your home.